Pastor David Lynn is worse than vocab alone. He's the biggest Christian bug out on YouTube. Anyway, um, I'm going to let you listen to this. Oh, there's so much madness. There's so much madness. I was watching a video. I didn't get a chance to watch the whole video that uh, uh, the elder Yashawamba out of the GMS Dallas camp, the head of the Dallas camp, uh, put up a video with a comment. And uh, the guy in the comment, um, he said um, something to the effect that we all got the, the, the mark. Even the, even the most high got the mark. So I said I can't. I had to take. I had to cut the cut it off. I said these yo, you got some real bug outs out there, man. <laughs> you got some real bug outs out there, you know. Anyway, I'm gonna let you listen to this a little of this madness. This is blasphemy. This is madness. I said Pastor David Lynn, and the Most I said he would set up stumbling blocks. Vocab is a stumbling block. Pastor David Lynn is a stumbling block. Uh, the Black Consciousness Movement is a stumbling block. Sartnet is a stumbling block. Anything that, or even other Israelite groups that came out of One West are stumbling blocks. If you got any group, Israelite group out there, a former One West or stem from One West, and they're teaching that Cornelius is an Edomite, in the, in um, the year 2021, that's a stumbling block. If you're teaching that the MOTB is an embargo of Christianity, that's a stumbling block. Who has 100% truth? GMS. Anyway, let me let you listen to a little of this, this mad, the madness of uh, Pastor David Lynn. Guy's a real bug out, man. <laughs> he's a guy. He's a real bug out. Lost his pigment. Okay, so Ho hold up, hold up, hold up. Black. He just lost. Comes Edom. Came from a black man, so he's really black. He just lost his pigment. So Edom, Edom comes. Edom came from a black man, so he's really black. He just lost his pigment. And that's right. And that is correct. He's correct. He's correct. A clock is correct two times in a day. He's correct. He's just like a clock, a broken clock. Anyway, um, yes, Edom or Edom, Edom came from two so-called black people, but he came out looking like a so-called white man. When you go around the planet Earth, the people of the planet Earth are different shades of brown. From a dark brown that looks almost black to a light caramel or caramel brown. And some are even lighter. But the uh, freak of the bunch are you Edomites. You came out, give you a perfect example. You get two so-called black people, so-called black people. They have a child, a child comes out looking like a white person. They call an albino. Well, Edomites, blonde hair, blue eyed pasty skin Edomites are about albinos so he's correct on that but when he had children his children came out looking like him because the first thing he did was he married an Ishmaelite and he married a Canaanite against his parents wishes they said don't marry a Canaanite and he went ahead and married a Canaanite now it doesn't tell you why he married a guy with a Canaanite but back then, if you came out looking like an albino, people looked at you funny, as, as they do today. They don't look at Edomite funny, but they'll look at Jake. Jake will have the Jake fit features, the round the nose, maybe the round the head, you know. There's certain black features, but they look white. That's, that's uh, uh, leprosy. There's two forms of leprosy, clean lepers and unclean lepers. Esau is a clean leper. That's why if you go to the doctor... And a so and an Edomite works on you, a so-called white man works on you, you won't get contaminated because that's a clean I was gonna say clean a clean Edomite, a clean um a a, a a a clean leopard, okay, as opposed to an unclean, which you gotta put unclean leopards on colonies. So let's listen to the madness of Pastor Dave Lynn. 
Okay, so you have now a red man. He could have passed down other black. Yeah, people. red man meaning the so-called white man. Sometimes is referred to as pale. Sometimes they're pasty. Sometimes you can see a little redness in them. Sometimes you can see a lot of redness in them. He said that this guy, that this Edomite mingled himself with the Canaanites and Hamites and all that. So he had to be black. So we don't really know what a what an Edomite looks like. These current so-called white people that you see, we don't know who they are. Lineage to his ancestors. He himself was red. That doesn't mean his children were red. They lived his children were red. His children were red. Now some of them, like like uh, this crazy passage says, some of them do look black. That's why the Lord spoke about them in Matthew's uh, Matthew uh, thirteen, the wheat and the tail. Let, let the wheat and the, the wheat and the tail come together, and after that they be separated. Now the tear are the children of the wicked one. So you're gonna have so-called white people looking like the other nations. Amongst the Hamites, who you said were black, they lived amongst the Shemites, who you said were black, they mixed in, so most likely their children had black skin. Does that make some logical sense? They wasn't mixed in with the, uh, with the, with the, uh, the Shemites. They were mixing with, with the Canaanites. What does God say about the children? Not the question. You're not answering the question. Esau, the Edomites, dwelt amongst black people. If Ham was black, because I... So he very well knows who the Edomites are, but he's pretty much saying, well, we really don't know what the Edomite is because they mingle among everybody. Well, who, what did these so-called white people... Uh, that you see every day uh, stem from. Hittite, the Canaanites, all of them were from Ham, who you said were black. You said Shem was black. Never said he was with a Hittite. You got to show me that. It it clearly said that it, that not to not to was it married the uh, the um, the Canaanites. Which Hittites are Canaanites, so technically you're right. So Edom dwelt amongst the people of Shem. So they intermingled. So this clown is saying that Edomites, that anybody that you see on the earth, Chinese people, black, so called black people, Arab, whatever, they're all, they're, some of them are Edomites. Now this so called white man, who is he? Who is he? Most, if, if Edom had a black father and a black mother, most likely his wife, the wife of Edom, was black. The kids were Yeah, Ishmaelite married in a Canaanite. And um, we believe that the Canaanite, that, that the reason why he got with a Canaanite against his parents' wishes is to get his, his uh, to, so his children could come back um, looking, having color. Well, you have a thing called leprosy, which is called albinoism. You can get two, and I said this earlier, I'm going to say it again. You can get a so-called black man, a so-called black woman, have a child, have a bunch of kids, and one of them or two, a couple of them come out as albinos. So Esau attempted to darken himself up, and uh, it didn't work. Now, eventually it did work. Go back to Matthew 13. He must have been black. So, who are the Edomites today? The so-called white men. They're the Edomites. The so-called white men are the Edomites. Of ancient times? I personally have not met an Edomite because the Edomites are an extinct race or mixed in with other people. Who was okay, let's go with that. Let's go with that. I did mention Matthew. Let's say that did happen. We don't know who these current white people are today. They may be the sons of Japheth. You see, the Christianity is a is a worse drug 
out there, man. This this Christianity thing has fucked up the minds, not only of Jake, but of Esau as well. Christian, this Christianity that the devil brought is the worst thing. This is that deception. This is that demonic deception that these Edomites brought over here with the Renaissance. And that's why, and, and, and now you can clearly see why they have to be completely destroyed. He's saying the Edomites are, so you could be an Edomite, my man. If you're an Edomite, you're not going to, what if you're an Edomite, Pastor David Lynn? Are you going to make it? No, you're not going to make it. You're going into captivity. Let's listen to some more madness. It's King Heron. It was an Ed Edomite. Okay. Where, where is this generation? His people. Where are they today? Many people from his generation went to the Caucasus region. Man, many of the people stayed within the Middle East. Many oh! Oh! They went into the Caucasus region. Who came out of the Caucasus region? White people. So you, ju you just sit right there without realizing it that so-called white people are Edomites. See, the two most controversial nations on the planet Earth right now are Israelites and Edomites. Because no one knows, well, people that are not in the know, no one knows who, who, are the, who is a true Israelite. Where is a true Israelite? Where are they? And who and where are the Edomites? Those are the two main nations. Many of them scattered around just like the Hebrews did as well. They didn't mix with them. This guy right here, that he's sitting down looking like Methu like an Edomite Methuselah. That, he can most likely be an Edomite. Then again, he could be a Jake that looks like an Edomite. Remember the wheat and the tears. The Romans. Many of them did just like the Hebrews did. In fact, God... Uh, oh, he, got, he said the Romans. Now you have scholars, and I did a couple of lessons on this, where so-called Jewish scholars, historians... Most of them agree, and it's on Google. You can look it up yourself. That the that the Romans, the ancient pagan Romans, going back two thousand years ago, really, let's say the Western Euro, uh, Romans, because because you had eventually you had an Eastern Roman, you had a Western Rome. The Eastern Rome was taken over by Jake. Jake took that over. That's where the the so-called Byzantine Empire came from. The east eastern part of Rome. Anyway, uh, scholars, so-called Jewish scholars, many of them out there, you can look it up, and I probably have to do another video on that, they state that uh, the uh, ancient Romans of 2,000 years ago were, were in fact, they descended from the ancient biblical Edomites. What color are the Edomites? Red and hairy. Uh, inside joke. What color are the Romans or were the Romans? They look like so called white people, red and hairy. Let's listen to some more madness. Let's say he's going to call the Hebrew, Hebrews from the four corners of the earth and that they're going to come from all nations and they're going to come and regather. Yeah, because it, exactly, you're right. You're right again. You're going to have Israelites coming out of all nations looking like the other nations but in fact they are Israelites they descended from the Israelite the tribe of Judah the tribe of Levi the tribe of Gad the tribe of Issachar and so forth and so on and they're going to look like the other nations some of them a lot of them are going to look like Israelites a lot of them are going to look like the other nations that's where the change have to come because if you look if you're an Israelite you look like a Moabite when them ships come, if you want to elect, when you get changed, you ain't going to look like a Moabite in the ship. You're not going to look like uh, uh, Rabbi Oskowitz. He's a, he's a Judite, but he look like a so-called Jew. No, you're going to look like a Jake. You're going to look like an Israelite. Part of that change is you're going to look like an Israelite. Now they're back into Israel. Now he can't say the people only in that land is the true biblical Israelites 
Yeah, well, he probably will. Let's see. What, what, the, what the scripture says is going to happen to the children of Edom? They're going to be wiped out and destroyed or even subjugated. Where does it say? Subjugated, then wiped out and destroyed. So Edomites are still around. I don't have my references right now, but you know and I know that that's a fact. Where does it say that? I don't have my references right now, but you know and I know that that's a fact. Oh, though thou exalt yourself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest amongst the stars, thence, thence will I bring you down, says the Lord. So say what you're saying. So God says, the Lord is on themselves as a star, right? That's when they went to the moon, to space. What makes you think that that's the right interpretation? Just because it fits with the 21st century? That's the interpretation I get from the elders. Which elders? The Israelites. So who went to the stars? Rome went to the stars? Babylon went to the stars? Because you just said Babylon. Okay, so... No. It's the daughter of Babylon. America is the daughter of Babylon. We're talking about the Eden. You can't switch it. Who went to the stars? So-called white Edomites, whom you who you refer to as so-called white people. That's a fulfillment of prophecy that they Ishmael didn't go to the stars. Moab didn't go to the stars. He's going to.